What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we got to talk about the fact that Blueface does not realize that he signed to four record labels. Now, first, I got to give a shout out to Donner Claire Chessman because that's where I got the idea from this video. I was actually reading an article in DJ Booth talking about this, and you can find a link to that article in the description below. But I'm going to play this clip. Are you signing Cash Money through Cash Money? Uh, Cash Money West. Oh, so that is through Birdman and, and all I know is Cash seven. Money West and Wack One Hundred. I, <laughs> I, I, you gotta ask Wack about the other other people involved. You haven't seen your own paperwork? Nah, I seen it, but <laughs> Wack showed me. I ain't even see the. You know, I signed with Cash Money West. I don't really know about all the. So Wack runs Cash Money West. Exactly. Then. Okay. Now I want to know what you guys think. Is this a problem? Why doesn't he not realize that he signed to four labels? Or maybe he's trolling, or maybe he just doesn't feel like talking about it. But if the situation is real, he doesn't realize he signed to four labels. Number one, he could not realize that, hey, a lot of these labels, you're signed to Cash Money US, right? And then a lot of these labels, these imprints, have multiple labels that they're signed to. So your money is getting split two, three, four, five ways in a lot of situations. This is why a lot of times we see artists and we know them well, they look like they're popping, but on one end, when you actually understand the amount of money that they're taking home from all this success, they're not popping like we think they are. And that's an important thing to remember because at the end of the day, as many artists there are out there who are so focused on their education when it comes to music at the very beginning, like in the business, who are watching channels like this channel, Curtis King and uh, Wendy Day, so many other valuable channels where there's just easy ways to get music business information. And as many artists that are out there who are interested in that information, there's a lot of artists who don't come across any of this information. Whenever you're signing some kind of deal or doing any kind of business, research and figure out what the rest of this business looks like. If there's a name or a company mentioned that you don't know about, do some research about that company and see what's going on with that company. And it doesn't even mean that it's bad business. Hey, maybe at the end of the day, he would have came to the exact same conclusion. I want to sign this deal. That's not a problem at all. But when you don't know, sometimes you put yourself at risk for stuff to go down and you be completely blindsided because you didn't have this information. But that's it. I don't really have much of a lesson to add or go in depth detail breakdown for this. I really posted this video because I want to see what you guys think in the comment section below. Right? Bring awareness that hey, these other artists are still out here. Y'all gotta help y'all peoples out. But then also, I wanna know what you guys think. So put them comments in the comment section below. Let's discuss. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe. Button.